Hey, what's up everyone? <laughs> so, what I'm going to go over today, I was messing around in Automator here, and I decided, let's show YouTube how to have some fun with Automator. So, I have two open here, and since everyone considers Max to be safe from viruses, I decided to make a little prank virus an automator and uh, I call it Black Apple so here you can see I've toyed around a lot uh, these are what they began as um, there's Black Apple the original and Black Apple 2 and then I disguised Black Apple 2 as a Firefox plugin and made some other updates Black Apple S which makes your computer sleep instead of shut down at the end and then I disguise this as a folder, but really, if you get info, you can see here that this is an application that just gets people to click on it and run it. So let's show you what these do. Let's open up Black Apple One. And it's opening Black Apple. All right. So this is what I've got. I started all the way with shoes from list. The reason I chose this is because you can't exit out of this. When it gets running, there's nothing to stop it. Let me show you. There it is. So you can see, this doesn't really do anything. There's no red X there. You can't quit there. I try command Q and if you go to the bottom and you try to quit it doesn't quit so I press this nothing nothing you have to press OK then I give you this little message here your Mac has a virus you'll now have to shut down your system not really now if you press report to Apple instead of lose all data this is when the virus activates for now, I'm going to show you what happens when you press lose all data. Because that's the only way to exit. And there you go. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to launch an application. In this case, I chose Photo Booth. Then, it's going to take a picture with uh, the screenshot. And it's going to save it to your desktop. And it says, Apple, Black Apple, I'm sorry, it says Smile. Then it's going to open it and then he's going to launch chess and then he's going to say something as you can see here this is just a terminal command it's just the say command I'll tell you everything you see right there let me show you an example of what this virus can do although I'm only going to run this sleep so that we don't lose what we're working on here so let's exit this one and then I'm going to open up Black Apple S As you can see, it's very similar, except down here, the Apple Script section, instead of shutdown, it's sleep. So it puts your Mac to sleep. So let's run this in the flesh and see what it can really do. So let me check one thing really quick. I think it might quit all applications and that might shut down my screen recording. No? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. I had it doing that at first, but it's not as good. So, let's run Black Apple S. So this is what I'm talking about. No quitting up here. No X. No Command Q. And now I think, oh, you can just quit. Well, no, you can't. You, you, you can't quit. It is still here. Press OK. Now, you don't want to lose all data. So I'm assuming you're going to press Report to Apple. And now it begins. 
Now you can see. Hello. I can now see your ugly face from photo booth. I am Black Apple, your newly infected Mac. I am sorry that Apple lied to you about never being able to get viruses, but now you must beat me in chess or I will shut down your computer. Good luck LOLO, and here is some of your favorite music while we play. Now it's going to open up iTunes, and it's going to prompt you. Again, no way to quit out of this. I'm just going to press cancel. But it still opens up iTunes and plays the first one. I will now shut down after chess. Oh, Why chess to go away? Why not quit chess? Up on Google? What's wrong with the world, mama? People living like they ain't got no mamas. I think the whole world addicted to the drama. Only attracted to things that'll bring the trauma. Overseas, yeah, we trying to stop terrorism. But we still got terrorists here living in the USA, the big CIA. So that's what we got. Now this is not the final version, and I didn't want to show you guys the final version because ScreenFlow would quit working. This one has a bug in it, as you saw. My final version is a little modified. I'm actually working on it now. That's really what I wanted to show you. So let's go ahead and make a part two of the video now.